Okay. Yep, yep. All right. What is good, guys and girls of YouTube? It is me, Justin Omoe, here with another video for you guys and girls when it comes to improving yourself with your music and artistry and such. So today, we are going to talk about something called denoising. Uh, first and foremost, let me see something. All right, cool. So yes, denoising is the process of taking the noise out of a vocal or, you know, a sound. Um, basically, mainly used on recordings. But yes, now noise is something that's like background wind, such as that fan up there, as well as the computer over there. Let me see if I can... Uh, it's too dark to... So yeah, anyways... Noise, it gets captured. It could be even things like outside, like a plane flying by. Those are noise, which we could remove. So yes, let me just move this over. You might not hear noise right now. And that's because I have something called a noise gate on. Which is cool, but you can still hear noise while I'm talking. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off that noise gate and you'll hear it. You hear that? That is all noise. And even if I noise gate it, you can, steer, you can still hear the noise inside of my vocals. So yes, what I'm going to do right now is basically record this vocal and show you how to clean it called with a denoiser. So yes, I'm going to hit record and I'm going to record some, you know, gibberish. Yo. Hey. We in it just to kill it. You know how I'm doing this shit, yeah? I don't do not clean dishes. <laughs> Double negative, you know that's how I win it. I'm tricking all these people just to, you know, do visions. I don't know, Confucius. Confucius says you stupid, and I believe that to be a truth. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. Hit him with a, hit him with a saw. Bam, ba, 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 ba. Shoot him in the raw. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just stop. I'm gonna just stop. All right, I'm, I swear, I'm gonna stop. Cool, so I'm going to turn off the recording so I can see my vocal here. And if I play this, uh, just the vocal. Hey, we in it just to kill it. You know how I'm doing this shit, yeah? I don't do not clean dishes. <laughs> Double. Okay, I have to turn my mic off within some parts. So yes, as you heard, there was noise in that track. Let me do it one more time. Hey. So I'm sure you heard that noise there. That's the noise from the microphone picking up the background noises, the fan, the computer, and such. So what we're going to do now is denoise it. And this is how you do it. Double click your vocal, right click, go to edit, right? Um, <clears throat> it would be like this uh, where it's the vocals. But what you'll have to do is actually click the spectrum button. It's this button right here. So you can see the frequencies. And if you look at the parts where um, on the wave file it looks kind of empty, there's still a little bit of hey, things going on. You see the little bumps. <clears throat> so yes, if we turn on spectrum, it'll be easier to notice. So if I play right here, you'll hear noise. Let me just turn off my mic real quick. Yeah, so you can hear that. That's noise, and it's going to be within the whole song. So what we have to do is take a fragment, or not fragment, just a little section of it, um, and then we'll go to this brush tool that says clean up, denoise. I'm going to right-click, and notice it says noise profile acquired. Now, what this does is basically um, takes the algorithm, the pattern of that noise, and it's going to use it to clean up sounds. So let me just highlight this little portion here. And I'm going to click the brush tool. I'm going to left click it this time. Bam. And notice the, um, the change when I click off the mic. Let me click off the mic. Oh. I got to turn it off first. Hey. We in it just to kill it. Notice how the noise sound is gone. Now you could click this little button that says output noise only so you can hear the noise.
if you hear sounds that you do not want to take out, so let me just put the threshold and the amount all the way up. Hit preview. You hear those freakish, weird womp, 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 womp sounds? That's basically frequencies that you do want. It's captured in the noise vocal, but because we, you know, change the amount and the threshold of it, it's going to usually um, pick up more of the sound and do more of an intense work on your vocals. You do not want to take out those bass, you know, sounding sounds because that's part of your performance. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and put it back to, you know, this little middle middle. Actually, raise the threshold up for me. Um, and I'm going to hit preview again. Okay. I still hear a little bit of it, so I might drop the threshold a little bit. Okay, I like that. It doesn't matter if you take a little bit of the bass because we do cut it in the EQ anyways. So yes, also there is a um, a little envelope we could create, or you know, not envelope, but a um, frequency wave we could alter. So if we do want to cut out the certain frequencies, we could like limit it. We don't want to delete, you know, within this range here. I'll hit preview. Notice how it did not take the sound that we did want. So that's bad. <laughs> so if we do raise this up and then do the opposite, which is, you know, put down this, we might hear just the noise. You could barely hear it. That's because most of the work is over here anyways. Uh, let me delete that. Cool. See, it didn't really take that the bass piece of my vocal out. So yeah, depends on if you want to or not. Oh shit, I didn't mean to hit step. Uh, let me go back. So yes, once you're content with what you like the sound, you could click the button that says output noise again, so you can hear your actual track preview. Hey, we in it just to kill it. And notice the noise is gone from that vocal. So um, once you're content with what you want to hear, you're gonna go ahead and press X and double click. I'm actually go back to my mic. Okay, so when you're done with that, you just click X out. Then make sure everything is highlighted. If you see a little red thing here that says, you know, something to something, even though it doesn't look like it, that means you, you know, did a little bit of something like, you know, click and drag, and it will count only that. So make sure it's not red. Then once you're good, just click, click accept, let the thing do its job, and then after you'll see it, it's going to finish. Oh, I did something wrong. <laughs> Control Z. Uh, let me click that. I forgot to click, turn off the output noise, click and hit. Cool. And once you click it, you'll notice the vocal noise has been reduced from the track. Let me just big it up. Big it up. And notice how it is different from this, uh, not that. Just... There. Notice how the old track had these noise, but the new track doesn't. So if we hit play on this, let me just turn this off one more time. Hey, we in it just to kill it. You know how I'm doing this shit, yeah? I don't do not clean dishes. <laughs> All right. So that is how it sounds in the end. And what you can do is take the property file, the original, and click this little arrow that says drag copy sample selection. We could drop it directly there and the vocal will be clean. So if I press um, play on it or click it. Hey, we in it just to kill it. You know how. Cool. So that is it. That is how you denoise the vocal. And yes, one more thing as a tip, since you're watching this video, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to show you something. <laughs> After you do it, you can create a small noise gate. When you go into an FL limiter, just bring the threshold up a little bit because, you know, it still has that little bit of sounds. We can use a little bit of noise gate and then take the uh, gain knob, put it all the way down. You could tweak the release to how you want it to sound, but, you know, it's going to just take out those noises all the way. So, yep. That is it. Let me just turn off my mic and yeah. Hey, we in it just to kill it. You know how I'm doing this shit, yeah. 
I don't do not clean dishes. <laughs> Double negative, you know that's how I win it. I'm tricking all these people just to, you know, do visions. I don't know. Confu so yes, that is it. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it didn't get a little bit too Confucius. And yes, like the video if you like it. My name is Justin Omoe. Be sure to subscribe if you want to learn more artist tutorials and such. And yeah, thank you for watching and peace.